Still jacked. Yeah. Now, today we're going to talk about three things that will make sure that you still stay a broke loser if you keep doing them. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I literally know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm a 23-year-old making six figures a month. And look, you can check, you can check out my Instagram. Just check out my lifestyle. I was, I was just in the Maldives and fucking spent 10 grand on like a five-day trip. Okay, I have a, I have, I have a degree in mathematics and information systems, the hardest degrees on this planet. Literally, I have both of them. Okay. And at the same time, I got a full rest scholarship because I was a successful athlete. So I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And when it comes to habits, when it comes to what to do if you, if you want to stay on track, I know exactly what type of mindset it, it, it takes to actually achieve above the average. All right. So listen carefully. The first thing that you absolutely need to stop doing is negative self-talk. And the reason I put this number one is because I see this all the fucking time. It, guys, if, if there's probably one thing that nobody had that I haven't seen often is literally positive self-talk. Now, what is negative self-talk? Negative self-talk is anything that is not positive self-talk. I, mean, I told you guys, a math page. It's zero, zero, or one, black or white. Now, if you're not telling yourself every single day that you're the top boss and you're going to become a billionaire soon... And, you know, you just should be getting the most beautiful woman on earth and all that. Then, then, then you're a fucking, then you're a fucking broke boy. I don't, I don't care. Like, if, if, if identifying your life, analyzing your life, is there anything that you've ever given up recently on? Okay. Why don't, why don't you have, literally, why don't you have a beautiful nine or ten by your side? Okay. Supporting you in everything you do, cooking for you, cleaning for you, doing anything you need. Why don't you have that? The reason you have that is because you gave up on developing your ability with females. Okay? You gave up. Because every guy had the dream at some point, I want to be good with chicks. But what happened? You're like, ah, oh, no, maybe I shouldn't be doing It's just negative self-talk. Okay? It's this voice in your head that tells you, oh, I don't need to train today. All oh, you guys, you fucking do it. And the, the thing is, guys like me, we don't have that. My friends don't have that. I don't, I don't do that. Like, literally, I just do positive. If I could, bro, I could literally, you see this here. Okay. I know I know. I keep showing this. It's because I'm proud of it. It's a beautiful watch. I just got it. Just cut me looks like it. Well, where's your Rolly? Okay. Uh, Prince, oh, show me his Rolly. Okay, where's your Rolly? Now, this thing here, right? Let's see. I dropped this, which actually happened to a friend of mine recently. He dropped it, his own rolling. Let's say I drop it and, and it literally literally had just had like a, a crack in it. Oh, it still somehow just had part of self-talk. Like, yeah, well, you know, at, at, at least, you know, I didn't drop uh, whatever, something else. And, you know, I'm still fine. I'm still rich, this and that. Just go repair it. Just be top boss later. Just, just, just you know, continue being top boss. Now, that's positive self-talk. I mean, like most of you guys, once your girl leaves you, you start being pathetic. You start breaking down. You, you can't continue anymore because in your head, you're like, oh, I love this girl so much. Uh, at the end of the day, you just, you know, just stop doing it because you just, you just look like a pussy, bro. Stop doing that shit, okay? Stop doing negative self-talk. Only do positive self-talk. If, if something happens, keep telling yourself that you're going to make it. If, if if your girl leaves you, keep tell yourself you're gonna get you're gonna still be get, fucking get rich and just get another girl. And if 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 someone snakes you, you just think like yeah whatever. I just I just have another friend. Have an abundance mindset. Number two, super important. Stop going out with your buddy's friends. Look, this is something I was personally also, you know. I was also doing this. 
Now, uh, when I was, I, I never did it much, okay? When I was going with my friends, I was actually doing cool stuff. I can remember, I can remember when I was like 14, 15, I wasn't the best style on the planet yet as I am right now, right? And I started hanging out with a friend, you know, he was cool, he was good with girls, had a lot of style. So I wanted to like see how he does stuff. So I used to hang out with him a lot. We used to just go in the streets, try to pick up girls. Like literally, we just go in the streets, pick up girls, like 14, 15. Uh, I was 14, 15. You know, we would go to home parties, try to pick up chicks there. Then we were just walking around, you know, just sometimes he was looking for trouble. It's just crazy stories that like fucking at some point with fights, but you know, whatever. So, but I never did it much anyway, because I was still training every single day for three hours. You know, I was, I was still going to school. I was, I was still trying to develop myself, myself. I was still developing my charisma. I was still doing all of that. And even now, I'm like, I shouldn't have gone out that much, all right? So, and the worst that you guys do is you go out with your fucking loser friends. You, you, you call it like quality time or some dumb shit. And all you do is fucking drink beer, fucking get drunk, go out and try to try to look at pussy. And, and that pussy isn't even interested in you. You have to stop going out, guys. I, I, I mean, it's like literally stop chilling with your friends. These are not your friends even. These, I mean, are they really friends? If you had an emergency, let's say you were stuck in the country. I mean, literally, this is, I'm talking about stuff that literally can happen because it has happened. It has happened to me. Not to me personally, but I've literally had a friend. He was stuck in a third world airport, in the country, in a third world airport. The police fucking took custody of him, right? Put him into jail and took his passport and he had to bribe the police he had to bribe the police in order to fly off okay now this could literally happen and we helped out our friends it was uh it was three people we helped out we helped out our friends you know so can, could your friends like just literally just send you ten thousand dollars to help you in an emergency could they do that the answer is most likely no Maybe you have like this one friend who would do it, but, but most likely no. So you need to be cognizant of which people you hang around with. And you need to be cognizant of what they give you. Do they give you actual ideas? Can they give you money if you need it? Okay. Can they help you out if you really need help? Most of you guys, you don't have that. You don't even have guys. Look, you don't even have guys that could help you get pussy. You literally don't have that. You're just chilling out, going out with loser friends, wasting your most precious thing, which is time. Not developing your business, not doing all these things that would actually help you get on the level of, so for example, people like me. People like me, we literally, people like me, we walk into, or we go into a new country, and I'm like, yo, look, tomorrow I'm, I'm a fucking new bitch. Like, any country. Thailand, Austria, USA, Mexico, Spain, Italy. Literally, just land, boom, take some girls, boom, boom, boom. Okay, she's next to my man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking her. This, this, this guy's what my caliber do. And, and you do nothing with your time. Because you're not developing anything. Now, the last habit which you must totally get rid of. Completely. And I put this in here for a reason. Because I actually know. I, I didn't know a lot of guys do this. Like, literally, bro. But the funny thing is I invest in this because I know that a lot of guys do this. Which is you waste a lot of time and money on entertainment. Now, the funny thing is, you guys know I'm an OnlyFans pimp. That means, you know, I got models working for me, get a, a whole bunch of money, this and that. You know, beautiful girls working for me. Now, that's the first thing. So, I'm in the, I'm, 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 I'm in the, I'm, I'm in the OnlyFans industry. In the adult entertainment industry. Now, also, funny enough, I invest in gaming cryptocurrency. We can talk about, you know, crypto gaming some other time. And just crypto investing in general. And the reason why I invest so much in crypto gaming is because I know that this is going to be one of the biggest industries ever. Gaming is a trillion dollar industry. Because fuckers, just, just fucking beta males, sit in front of the computer, sit in front of the PS whatever, 5, just fucking playing video games, spending money on entertainment. 
That's what I'm saying. The third thing is you need to stop spending money on entertainment. It's fine. I'm in the industry, but at the same time, I'll talk against it because I don't see the point why you should fucking pay a chick, like pay a chick money on OnlyFans and the money goes to me and then I fucking make fun of you. Or you pay, I mean, you fucking play video games all day long, all right? And then I invest in those video games and I make cash and you're poor. Like, well, what's the point of that? I mean, it's good for me, but I'm, I'm literally telling you, just, just stop doing that shit. So many guys do this. You need to stop spending money in entertainment, literally. In fact, you should stop consuming entertainment in the first place. You need to become a producer, not a consumer. You know, the, 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 the first, there's certain things that have changed your mindset over time. Like things that I heard and then boom, it changed my mindset. And one of them was when I was reading this blog. It doesn't exist anymore, sadly. But I was reading this blog and he was literally saying, in order to become rich, you need to become a producer instead of a consumer. This changed my mind about everything, okay? And literally, that day, I was like, okay, how can I become a producer? Then I started trying to do drop shipping. You know, that didn't work. I tried so many other things. Now I'm producing YouTube videos, content. The more you produce, the more you put out there, posting on Instagram, posting on YouTube, you know, just, just fucking trying to create value. The richer you'll become and the more people will pay for your time. Instead of you consuming dumb shit like OF or fucking video games and, and that money ends up in my hands. All right. So that's it for today. For, for today. Done.